minutes. Okay, two minutes and 40 seconds. So I have two minutes and 40 seconds to get through this so we can have dinner. Okay, James chapter 5. This is a really funny story. Last week, we had a lot of people here, and we had an incredible time, and you can watch it on YouTube. We had an, an incredible new worship leader friend of mine, and last week, a little boy was singing one of my songs, and it came out of James, and it was something like, um, beware of the rich, or something like that. They kicked the poor out, and then he said, Pastor Ken, why would you write something like that? <laughs> He was singing it. Seven, I guess. Seven years old. I guess seven years old. I guess you had to be there to get the irony and the, the funny situation. But the little boy was singing my songs out of my notebook, and he's like, "Pastor Ken, why would you write a song about the rich people kicking the poor out?" <laughs> so in the first few ch verses of chapter five, it talks about the rich living in luxury and self-indulgence, fattening their hearts for the day of slaughter. But then James, Jesus' brother, says, Be patient, therefore, brothers, in verse 7, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth. Be patient about it until he reserves the, receives the early and the late rains. In verse 8, James says, You also be patient. Establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord is at hand. Do not grumble against each other. Uh, the judge is standing at the door. Don't be judged. And he talks about the prophets of old, of old, and even Job. So James, the, the brother of Jesus, he screwed up in his life. Here, the Savior of the world came to earth, and his own brother who watched him his whole life rejected him. And that later on, James met with Jesus and reconciled, and then became the leader of the Church of Jerusalem. And Philip was talking about what James did and how it was difficult to deal with people in Jerusalem. So the message for now, for tonight, 